All right, I'm in Norway now. I am going from Oslo to Bergen. It's about a seven or eight hour drive. And it's raining like it's been pretty much the whole time I've been in Norway, which three or four days, I'm not really sure. Norway's a beautiful place. It's really expensive. I guess it's got really high taxes. I had a kind of a shitty burger at a Scottish pub with fries. It cost me 22 or 23 US dollars. Gas is $8 a gallon, maybe more. I bought a salad at a grocery store, a pre-made salad at the grocery store. I think it was eight to ten dollars. And when I'm in a place like this, I start thinking about what other cultures would experience if they came here for the first time. Thousands of years ago, somebody's in Africa, and they don't even know about an endless night or an endless day or a change of season or snow. And I can imagine getting dropped off in the middle of a place like this and saying, okay, Go for it, see what you got. And just, it would be, what planet am I on? What world is this? And uh, why is it so cold? And what do you mean this is the warmest season? It's just, it would just be such a different experience. And these Nordic people, they're, they're different. They feel different. They feel like there's an evolution that's taken place in them that has adapted to endless nights. They seem to have a resilience to what I would consider a sad and lonely place. The earth is a special place up here. There is a spirit about it. I can understand how they have their fairies and trolls and folklore because there is something kind of magical about the, the Northland. But there's also a loneliness here that seems like you'd have to build up a tolerance to it. And it seems like they have. I could see sacrificing a gregarious nature for something a little more conservative in a place like this, where you learn how to have a good time without burning through calories, without expending all of your heat. I could see a whole different type of humor developing, a different way of thinking, a different way of warfare, different everything. Because up here, it really doesn't matter if you defeat your enemy if you end up getting defeated by nature. I feel like I'm being challenged here. I'm being challenged to open up, to embrace, to accept this part of the world. I want to go away. I'm not enjoying this. Ever since I got to Denmark, so Denmark, Sweden, Norway, I don't like being here. My heritage is partially from here. I thought that I would feel a little more at home here like I do in Germany, I don't. So I'm being challenged to not push it away, to not be afraid of it, to ask myself, why is it that I'm not enjoying this? Why am I having any kind of negative emotions about it? And I think it's some kind of a fear. I want to keep it away. I want to keep the, the loneliness that I feel outside of me. I want to keep it from getting inside me. But now I'm realizing that my challenge is to integrate this place just like I do with anything else in my life. Let it pass through. Let an equilibrium happen between the inside and the out. And it's not about letting bad things in. It's about opening up accepting. It's about not judging. It's about accepting the earth here, the world, whatever the feel is, and just saying, yeah, okay. Okay, this is the Northlands for sure. This is Scandinavia. This is what it's like. It's been cloudy, misty, cold, rainy. The whole time I've been here, I've been bundled up, wearing thermals and beanies and waterproof jacket. I haven't really met anybody. And I wanted to go back. I wanted to go, okay, I think I've seen enough of this. You know, I've seen quite a few miles of Sweden and quite a few miles of Norway. Not all of it, because it's huge. If I want to go to the top, it's going to be days of driving. So there's a part of me that goes, well, you know, I could see the south part and move on. And I can. There's no rules here. I don't have to do anything. But I don't want to let something in me scare me off. I don't want to be intimidated. I don't want my discomfort to make my decisions for me. I want to try to come to terms with it, to not be afraid of it or what I might feel here, or if the feeling is going to get worse the further north I go, if I'm going to feel more isolated 
more alone, if depression is going to set in, I'd rather not let those things make my decisions for me. So just like I'm learning to do with all of the things within me, I need to do with all of the places outside of me, which is that everything has a place at the table. There's a place in this world for this place, literally in this world and this place. Just like there's a place at the table within me for every part of myself. This is not to be excluded from the world. It's not my place to say we don't need this in the world. Obviously, that would be a crazy foolish thing to do, literally. I think as I accept it for what it is and I stop trying to make it something it's not. This is not the coast of Croatia. This is not a Greek island. This is Norway. And it's exactly what it's supposed to be. And if it's exactly what it's supposed to be, and I'm exactly who I'm supposed to be, there's no reason that we can't get along. So that's where we're at. I just realized that I've spent more than a week wrestling with Scandinavia. First time I've ever seen this. Underground traffic circle. I think I'm ready to relax into this, let it be, and not be afraid that it's going to contaminate me somehow with loneliness or sadness. How tall this tunnel is, this is insane. driving into. This is the biggest tunnel I've ever seen. And now it's normal. Okay. That was interesting.